What's up, guys? This is Sasai, and welcome back they to really Eleanor quick, Part 3. They? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Isn't he a cop who won the medal in the Sovereign Oak Uh, Yes, I am. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh god. Uh, you know this place? Ooh, do I get a new car? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Come on, Cole. Nice. Leave him alone. For to refrain from pressing for unjustified wage increases. That will force straight over in the price level. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now? I Nelson? mean, I clicked on it, but I don't know together. why it didn't. Straight through at the next junction. Left here. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college in Stanford. Did two years ROTC before the NOCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as my first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa camp. Check back home. You're on the beat. I'm pressing, but he's not directing me, so I'm just going off night. based on the map. So you won the silver star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in that flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finish. The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against Bukowski's you. Bukowski's weird. Part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuba ride. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you told me. All units of 459 just occurred at 6 and Sarah's. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11 King, go ahead, KGPL. Oh god, oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 459 suspect just left 6 and Sarah's. Suspect is a male Caucasian, believed to still be in the area. Code 2. Another okay, well, I... I hear that number way too often. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> nobody saw that, nobody saw that. Up on the roof, mask officer, gunman. he has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Chill, lady. I, I know how to handle a gun, too, you know? <laughs> uh, despite my driving skills. What? That was a weird cut. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Oh god, oh god, I've... Oh god. I've messed up already. I'm messing up so badly. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. I've <laughs> I swear, I don't mean to run in... <laughs> Let me do that again. Let me do it. Let me do it again. 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 I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where is the guy? Is gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Where is the guy? Where's the guy? Is he here? Where did he go? Oh ah, shit, so okay. Let's negotiate. I don't know. Was that like <laughs> was How that long me? You think you can hold out? Please don't tell me my control is broken. 
Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to fire. I was... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I did not mean to fire. Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. What 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 was that? What was that call? You want to back off. On your own goddamn head, be it. What? How? Look, like, wait, 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 wait. How? Like, do I only get one shot? Stand down. You fucking asked for it. Damn it. Do I just fire like consistently or nah? I, I guess I fire consistently. One more time, one more time. <laughs> Noise. Okay. I almost shot the hostage again, but. Kill him, I shot him like by the sides. Complete a single street crime case. Okay. Um cool. Cool 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 cool. Uh you can see how dirty the car has gotten. Um right turn coming up. Let's go. Right here. Next right. Take the next left. Noise. PE Freight Depot, 1120 AM. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, off The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and. I don't we'll like you, Bukowski. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. <laughs> you're okay, Stefan. Stefan Bukowski. Ugh, stop giving. Like, please. Cool. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. OK. Spend intuition points, but I don't want to spend intuition points. 
Uh, I don't. I don't want to spend intuition points. Um, let me just walk around, see what I can find. Oh, I can't look at the crime scene. Nani? Uh, there we go. What that? Oh, it's a wallet. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Hmm. After Find and inspect the clue as an LAPD detective or investigator. Uh, okay. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Oh, damn. Damn. Brand name might give us something to go on. It's the heat. More like instant uh, dead beat <laughs> oh my god that was horrible please somebody cut that out guys, please no take your time no freight rolling through here till we're done and we're still punching the clock oof how how is it so Victim bloody looks to have lost a lot of blood this is not a lot this is too much this is like from a blood bag. Incidental. This isn't what we're looking for. Live hog. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Why is the live hog so cheap? Well, I mean, I guess. Okay, so all the clues have been discovered. I need to talk to this guy, right? I'm stumped. Oh wait, no. Ideas. Have a word Where's the witness? the witness? It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. Where is the witness? Where is the witness? What? What? Where? Sir? Where is the witness? Oh. <laughs> he was right here. Sir, I'm Detective Bell. I'm Name's sorry, Nick I thought you were a cop. My bad. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Nate Wilkie. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Seems like he's telling the truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay. Do you know Adrian Black? Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Um. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly. 
So it kind of spilled out. Okay. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? No. I mean, it doesn't look like he's lying. So... It's a simple question, Mr. Wilkie. I wouldn't know what was in that wallet. I, I never touched it. Oh, damn. He was lying. Damn it. Damn it. I missed it. Oh, my God. I failed as an actress. I failed. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Uh, let me view my notebook. <laughs> Cause... Doesn't look like he's lying, so... When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Okay. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Oof, okay, sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, I can make my partner drive. How do I make my partner drive? I don't want to drive. Yes. Yes. No, wait. Let, let my partner drive. No, I don't want to drive. <laughs> Wait, wait. I want to make my partner drive. No! Okay, can you drive? Can you please drive? Can you, sir? Can you please drive? How do I make you drive? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Controls. No oh, man. Will I just never know now? <sighs> Looks like I have to drive. It's always me. It's not fair. Twenty Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill, a couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? Take this left. Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Yeah, it could just be like the blood from the live hog, right? Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously someone got a little heavy hand. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, I, you need I don't to know where to go. Not the car. You got something there, folks. Doesn't add up. Got to turn on my my siren. Read about the guy at the crossing yesterday. No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. He pops the hood and he's on a rail car. Oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil. A Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. Oof. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. Pointless waste of life. 
You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity where you trap themselves. And who needs a Second Amendment when we give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? Well, this is really far. If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, folks. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels kinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Captain. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching. Any sentry in a 415 possible metal case at 7th and 5th. Okay. This is car 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, your 415 is at the Alaco station at Wilshire and Flowers. Possible mental case. <laughs> Couldn't stay away from that one, could you? Damn it. <laughs> I've made a, uh, an error. I have made an error. Whoa, what the heck? Bruh. You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Calm down, sir. You liked that, Bruh. wouldn't you? Just shoot him, man. No, oh, man. Give it up. I gotta I run again. Me. Was, uh, that was a waste of my speed. Put your hands in the air. Get that bug. There he is, officer. Don't make me chase you. Damn. Go, man, go. Also, you forgot your hat, but uh, I I don't know what. game what is this game I'm so confused oh sorry I stopped way too early There we go. Black residence, 12.09 p.m. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Like I'm good at it? Anyway, we're gonna end it here. So, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment on what games you guys think I should play next. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. This is SIA signing off.